Hello everyone. This is Queen B with another nail tutorial. Today we're going to be working on consistency, the powder to liquid ratio. And this is going to be a nail tutorial for beginners. If you are not a beginner and you want to watch it, come on along. All right. This is some acrylic I made too. Pretty pink. All right, so first you want to submerge your brush. Get it nice and wet and loose. All right. My purpose for this video is to show you that you do not need a lot of monomer to pick up the acrylic, okay? You don't have to waste a lot of monomer. Monomer should last you a good little bit. As you can see, I wiped all the acrylic out. I mean, all the monomer out of this brush. And I can still pick up acrylic with it. Even though I've wiped it all off, I can still pick up acrylic. Okay. All right. So to pick up a small bead, we're going to start off with a small bead. We're going to do small, medium, and large. So to pick up a small bead, you just want to wet the brush. You just want to tap it in. Get that out of the excess liquid out. You just want to tap it in the acrylic. Okay. You don't want to swipe it or nothing. You just want to tap it. All right, now go your small bead, all right, or a medium bead. You want to submerge the brush one-third of the way. You don't have to wet the whole brush, just the tip. You want to count to two seconds, one, two, and there go your medium bead. All right, for the large bead, you want to wet the brush at least halfway, okay? Get all of the excess liquid out. You want to drag it for three seconds. One, two, and three. As you can see, that is a large bead. So for a small bead, you want to do just the corner of the brush. One, one second, just tap one. For a medium bead, you're going to submerge the brush at least one third of the way, which is about right here. Count two seconds and get your medium bead. For a large bead, you're gonna submerge the brush halfway. All right, get the excess liquid out. But leave it semi-wet for the large bead. And then you're gonna count three seconds. One, two, three, you pick your large bead up and lay it down, okay? Easy peasy. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. I'll get back with you. That is one of the most important things when I'm teaching my students is the consistency. I think that's where, I believe that's where their most of their issues lie is when they're learning, trying to learn the consistency because if you pick up too much liquid, then the acrylic ball is gonna be wet. It's gonna be running away from you. So you do not want the bead to be running away from you. So let me see if I can show you. You don't wanna have to chase the bead, you know? Get a nail. You don't want to chase the bead. I'm going to show you guys something. If you pick up a drier bead, then it'll be much easier for you to control. So when you pick up semi super wet beads, your acrylic ends up, you know, running from you. See how watery that is? See how watery that is? It ends up running from you. You don't want that, okay? You want full control and you end up wiping it all off because it's so wet. You want full control of that bead. So you want to get your brush semi-wet. Get all the excess liquid out. Pick your ball up. Now you can place it here. Now you can control that ball and wherever it goes, it stays exactly where you want it to go. Simple. You don't have to use a lot of monomer. That's the first mistake all new nail techs make is picking up too much monomer. Your brush is too wet. It does not have to be that wet. You only need a little bit of monomer to the powder ratio, okay? You want more powder than you want liquid, okay? Because you want to make it semi-wet so that you can play with it, okay? You don't want it too dry 
but you do not want it too wet either. You want it kind of right in the middle. As you can see, I laid that one swipe there. I was able to control the whole swipe. I didn't wipe any excess acrylic off because I didn't have to because it wasn't a super wet bead. Okay. All right. I hope everybody's being safe out there during this tragic times. I love you guys. I'll come back with another video soon. Until then, peace, love, and happiness, and stay safe. I love you guys.